We are afraid banditry may threaten northern Nigerians' existence in the next five years. Nigerians, Ariwa Consultative Forum cries out. They say the way the banditry is growing in the northern part of the country, they not sure say not go still they exist in the next five years. So they are crying now, they are lamenting the activities of banditry and Boko Haram in their region. Nigerians is happening. When these people started, these uh, Badbele Jaguda people started, when people they talk, some northerners they talk say, eh, hey, why didn't they talk? Why are they complaining? In the Niger Delta, they have Niger Delta militants. Nigerian government said to them, they gave them amnesty and all that. Why would they do that to these people? You understand? You are siding devil. You are siding terrorists. But you have forgotten that these people, they don't care when they will come for you. And that is what is happening today. Because they were shading them that time, they gave them grant to seek very well. Today, banditry has finally taken over the north. Now, northerners are crying for help. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for stopping by. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The Ariwa Consultative Forum, ACF, has expressed fear that banditry and insurgents have gone out of control in northern Nigeria to the extent that it may threaten the existence of the entire region in the next five years. The chairman of the board of trustees, board of the ACF, Alaji Baij Mohammed Dahatu, has expressed the forum's concern over the current insecurity in the north and warned that banditry and uh, general insecurity have posed serious threats to the survival of the region. Mohamedou issued the warning on Thursday in Medugiri, the Borono state capital, during a visit to offer condolences and solidarity to the people of the state following the recent devastating flood disaster in Medugiri. He described the north as being in an extremely dire situation, facing multiple crises, including insurgency in the Northeast, banditry in the Northwest, and various other social vibes and challenges in the North Central. Daily Trust quoted Bohamadou has saying, our, pred our predicament is worsened by insurgency and banditry, which have even made it impossible for our people to go to their farms. Many farmers can no longer access their land and we no longer produce enough food to feed ourselves. Millions of children are not of, are out of school, and social hills such as Amajuri and begging have become rampant. When you consider all these issues together, it becomes clear that we are in a peculiar state. You want that if immediate action is not taken, the situation could worsen, further threatening the region's existence. He said, 10 years ago, there were no bandits in the Northwest. Today, however, nearly every state in the region is grappling with banditry. We fear that if this trend continues unchecked, the situation could spread out of control in the next five years, endangering our very way of life. He emphasized that the efforts made so far over the last decade to curb the insurgents have failed to yield meaningful results and, in some cases, have only exacerbated the problem. He said the actions taken in the past 15 years have not been able to stop insurgents. In fact, they have worsened the situation. We now realize the full existence of danger we face and the consequences of inactions will be catastrophic. He said that 
In response, the ACF has assembled a team of experienced and knowledgeable experts to thoroughly assess the situation. According to Mohammed, their findings will be presented to the 19 Northern State Governors, who will then take the matter to the federal government for urgent and decisive action. He assured that this time, the ACF is committed to ensuring that effective and sustainable solutions are implemented. He said, we are hopeful that Ishakala, the actions we propose will be far more effective with determination and the right approach. We believe we can bring an end to these present challenges. I said amen to that too. Mm -hmm. Northern leaders should wake up. Northern leaders should wake up and do the needful. They know what they're supposed to do. They should stop sleeping over this insecurity in their region. Unless they have, you know, words, uh, they, unless they have uh, stories they need to tell us. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video, let it go viral. Thank you and bye for now.